Our next guest is an actor who stars in the hit CBS show, FBI. Two days ago, you said it was 15. Things have changed. What things, Kurt? Demand is strong, supply is weak. <laughs> it's economics 101, my brother. 100% bump in two days, that is not economics, that is robbery. Oh, this inflation thing is real. Supply chain issues, labor shortages, prices are skyrocketing. This guy a bomb broker or an economist? Worth every penny. Take a look for yourself. Snapped that earlier today. 25 blocks of C4, two trigger mechanisms. I mean, listen, I could go on and on, but the only thing that really matters is damn thing can blow up an entire city block. Looks good. Is he bluffing? I sure hope so. 25 and we got a deal. 20's the highest I'm willing to go. And I have it all right here with me, too. Cool. Please welcome to The Late Show, Zico Zaki. It's a family affair. It's a family affair. It's a family affair. Zico Zaki, it is, it is lovely to meet you. Uh, Welcome. This is your first late night appearance this on any is, show. This is. This is. I just had Sigourney Weaver out here. Yes. And I found out something unusual, which is you have met her before. I have, but not professionally. Correct. How so? So I got signed about 10, 11 years ago, right. and one month after that was New Year's. I went home uh, to Wilmington, Delaware area. My buddy has a farm there in Chadsford where they shot The Village. Sigourney supposedly became friends with the owner of that farm. And uh, I met her at that New Year's and told her I got signed a month ago. She, uh, I asked her for any advice. She said, if you want to make some money, go to L.A. If you want to act, come to New York. Wow. So we, where did you go? I went to L.A. for a little bit, and here we are. Uh, <laughs> yeah, here we are. Yeah. Exactly. All right. I needed some. Uh, you play Special Agent O.A. Yes. On, on the FBI. I, I learned that Dick Wolf originally wrote the part as a Latino character, yes. but when you, you went in and auditioned, they decided to change the they character. Did. When did you discover did. that? Like, was it in the middle of the audition? When did you find out? No, it wasn't. So it actually was when they sent me uh, new words, new lines, a new script for the, uh, the screen test, which is the level after a producer session when I auditioned in front of uh, Dick Wolf. Okay. And there was Arabic in the new sides, and I thought for myself, uh, are they going a whole different direction? Are there going to be a bunch of Arab actors in the room? But then I, I got to New York. We got to do it on the set of SVU, which was really exciting. And, um, yeah, I was the only one there, and, and that was kind of the moment. So uh, it was kind of my chance not to mess up, and here we are. You seem like a fairly fit young man, you know. It's uh, been a journey. Did you do this? Did you get fit to play the part, or did you come pre-ripped? I... <laughs> I was uh, part of the way there when I got the part. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, they yeah, wouldn't yeah. have called you in if no, you exactly. hadn't been a few steps toward ripped them. Correct. They had to kind of have a potential, I think, was uh, what got exactly. me Exactly. Yes. Good bones, exactly. I believe I didn't they say the house. Yeah. I didn't want the cake to be fully baked. You know, I wanted to see if, if anybody else, you know, could help me out. So, <laughs> what's your, so what, what's, your, what's your situation? What do you do? Or is, uh, what are, you, are, we, are we doing uh, paleo? What are we doing? Well, we, we kind of, we started off with P90X. Might be. Is that like the insanity? Thing? That is. That is. It's kind of the original. It was like. It's muscle the, confusion. Yes, it is. Absolutely. I start off with, with Tony Horton. I start off with the confusion. I never get to the muscle. Right, right, right. right. I'm still confused. I, I, I'm all prompt. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, I lost 120 pounds. Holy uh, cow! Thank you. Is this an infomercial? You. We're on late enough. <laughs> But yeah. yeah, so I lost about 100 uh, pounds before I got the role, and then and then you know the journey. Give or take 20 here. How long did it take you to lose there. the 100 plus? I did it about, I think, 11 years, 12 years. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's, yeah, that's it not took a, a while. crash diet. No, no, no. 10 no, bucks no. a year. Exactly. Which, for me, it was the quicker, the quicker it leaves, the quicker it can come back, I think, is the sure. idea. So I wanted to do it very slowly, which was an interesting thing yeah. to kind of line up with acting because I would be a different actor every year. Mm -hmm. different new headshots every year and, and right. kind of evolve that way. Mm -hmm. Which is exciting. Then we landed on, I think, a physique and a, and a face I'd like to keep for a while if, um... 
Good luck with if that. Everyone's okay with Good that. Good luck with yeah, that. Yeah, Everybody yeah, wants yeah. to keep it. Yeah. Now, you, it's, it's hard to be a strongly actor. I assume for those 11 years, you weren't, you know, working all the time. Correct. So what, Correct. what do you do? What was your side hustle? Because I, I did a lot of weird stuff. Well, my side hustle, um, funny enough, was in the industry. When I moved to Atlanta about, let's say, seven years ago, my plan B was, of course, you know, waiting tables or restaurants or things like that. Sure. But um, I decided to open up an audition taping service called Atlanta for Actors. And I figured if I could have my plan B and my A kind of in the world, then maybe that would work out. So what did you do? You bought a camera. Bought a camera. I had my buddy Parker Davis from back home, and he would, uh, he would read with them because his reading skills were a little bit better than mine. And I would uh, kind of direct these auditions. And we would tape kids, uh, people like 80 years old. And throughout that whole spectrum was kind of how I got my training. Did you ever throw yourself on the tape and go, I can do a better job with this part? <laughs> it's like, right, I'm like, oh, thanks, man. I'll see you later. And keep it rolling. I'm going to send this in. <laughs> no, but yeah. funny enough, my manager sent me the audition for FBI from one of his Latino clients because it was a Latino yeah. uh, role. And in the same way, I, I did it, put it on tape. Two weeks later, he calls me and says I had a call back that they never asked me to do in the first place. And uh, he just put the audition in a drop box, sent it off to casting, and... And here you are. Here we are, yes. Well, it was lovely to meet you. Thanks okay. so much for coming yeah, by. Yeah, thank, you. thank you for having me. FBI airs Tuesdays at 8 p.m. on CBS. Zico Zaki, everybody. We'll be right back.